Superflux Turbo is here and it is lit. Hello my friends, how are you doing? Check out my new shirt, Grumpy Corn for everybody who loves his morning coffee. And in this video, I wanna show you what I tested out over the last days. I built a workflow, my supporters of course can download it for free today. For everybody else, I'm showing you step by step on how I built everything in the workflow. But let's look at some sample images first. So let's get started with this image here. And as you can see, we have some very detailed skin. We have very nice hair up here. Also the reflection down here on her armor is pretty beautiful. And of course, as you can imagine, this is an upscaled image. Here I have another example. Again, we have very beautiful face details. Also look at the flowers up here. The ears are very nice. The clothing is beautiful. In this case, you can see we have a slight bit of pattern over here, which can happen with flux, but I tried different tricks in this workflow to get as little of that as possible. In the next image, we have this beautiful golden retriever with all the flamingos in the background. Again, very nice quality. Look at these nice hairs here around his snout and his beautiful tongue in here. Everything here looks pretty, pretty nice. Next, I have this seaside image for you with the beautiful god rays here in the background. We have some very nice foliage and rocks over here. The sea spray looks pretty nice. And also these beautiful waves all over the image are very, very very atmospheric. And I rendered this cocktail here, which really makes me thirsty right now with this nice cool ice in here, the nice color, the light that shines through this slice of orange. And even down here, look at that beautiful reflection we have and these nice details. And of course, I also prepared this kind of shot for you, more kind of a kid's 3D render, very cozy. We have beautiful details here in the face. The hand is very nice. How he grips this stuff. We have a very beautiful burning flower up here. And then even when we go down to the feet, we can see we have very nice details, beautiful shadow, and also nice grass details that go over here to the tree. Let's check out the workflow. I try to build a very useful and simple workflow for you. Like I said, if you're one of my Patreon supporters, you can download this for free, but I'm gonna show you how I built all of that. Let's start here on the left side. Let's zoom in really close. So this time I'm not using the guff model, but I have these two nodes in here in case you want to try that. You just have to connect that to these other nodes over here. So instead of that, we are using the Flux One Depth FP8 model, which renders much better with ComfyUI with the LoRa. We get a very good speed. I have the triple clip loader. I'm using the Clip Witch Lard Patch 14 model, the Clip G model, and the T5 XXL FP8 model. And of course, our Flux VAE model down here. Now on the top, you have already seen that I am routing this through the LoRa loader with the Flux One Turbo Alpha model. And I also have split it down here because we are using the Turbo LoRa for two of the case samplers. But then for the last step, we are not using that because it's actually faster without it in the last step and also gives us much better quality. This is why the images look so good. So how does it work? Let's go here to the right side. We have here our prompt, of course. Below that, we have the negative prompt, which is empty, so we don't need that. But over here is another little trick. I have two of the Flux Guidance notes. One of them is with 3.5, the other one is with 7.5. And below that also I have a model sampling Flux note that is set to 1600 by 1600 with this max and base shift in here. Now this is not used for all of the process, just for the second case sampler. So let's check out next the case samplers. And one thing a lot of you wanted to have is a chooser that pauses so you can get the best image rather than having to go through the process and cancel it and start again and cancel it and start again. So what we're doing here now is, of course, we have our empty latent here. We have our C generator. Every of this K samplers in here has its own seed generator. This is why it's external and it's also randomizing it. You can also set it to fixed, which means you don't have to render that image again. Then here we have the case 
simpler. Now, because this is the Turbo LoRa, I'm rendering with eight steps. I'm using Euler with the beta scheduler start and end zero to eight in the first case sampler. As you can see here with the latent image, this is a batch size of two, which means it renders two images at the same time. You can set that to any number you want. Now, this is loading first in the preview chooser, but also down here, the VAE decode into the preview where on the lower right, you have this number here. When you click on that, it is switching between the individual numbers so that you can see the images in a nicer, bigger preview. And when you have selected one, you can click over here. And with the green frame, it selects how many of the images you want to have. When I choose one, I click here on progress selected image, and then it will go on with the rest of the rendering. Now, as you can see here, this is sending the latent out into my second case sampler. The second case sampler is pretty special. First of all, when we look here at my steps, I'm using here 12 steps in total, but I'm only rendering from eight step to 12 steps. So I'm only actually rendering four steps to improve the quality a little bit. This also will change the details in the image a little bit. You can't really avoid that. But the really important thing here is, first of all, I have here my conditioning of 7.5 instead of 3.5, which gives the image a stronger impression and also pushes a little bit more detail into that second case sampler. And then also I'm using here my model sampling flux with 1600 by 1600. This can help you reduce that kind of pattern that flux loves to create, but also it can introduce again some more details. Now, here is another thing we are doing. I sent this, of course, to the VAE decode so you can see the preview here of the image. But what I'm also doing is I'm applying a bit of contrast adaptive sharpening. Now here you can play around with the value. If it's too strong for you, set it a little bit lower. What this does is that it will sharpen this image a little bit. And if we do that, the upsampling gives us a higher quality, especially in the details like skin and hair. So instead of using a third case sampler as i did last time i instead use the ultimate sd upscale the reason why i am doing that is because this will again reduce the pattern you can get inside of the flux images because instead of one image we are rendering actually six images here you can see that i'm using here the 4x real web photo upscaler model you might want to choose a different model if you want to. And another thing I'm doing here, and this is pretty important, even though that you can see here that I'm using eight steps with Euler Beta, I am not using the Turbo LoRa. This is important, I'm not using the Turbo LoRa. Instead, as you can see, when we follow our links up here, I am using the model without the Turbo LoRa. The reason why I'm doing that is, first of all, this is actually quicker than the Turbo model, surprisingly, but also secondly, it introduces a lot more quality because the Turbo LoRa is limited in the amount of quality it can create in only eight steps. But because in this case, we already have an image that is almost finished or basically finished and only needs to get upscaled, it is enough to have these eight steps. You can even get away with six steps and get a lot more detail, especially with face and hair and these kind of finer details for your two-time upscaling. And this is where we get all these nice details. Now, before you go, I want to ask you two things. The first thing is, do you know more tricks on how to avoid that pattern? And the second question is, how can I batch images where the images are rendered one after another instead of all together, but without using a multitude of K samplers? I only want to adjust the number of images I want to have. If you know that, please leave a comment. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you want to see more videos like that. And thank you for watching. Bye.